<clears throat> What's going on? It's your boy Sermon. Sermon's on main.com. What up? It's Reese. I'm also good empire. Yes, today we are here to talk about Rich Hoff Mackin, the collaborative uh, project between RJ and Royce Choice. If you don't know, RJ is uh, signed to Pushes Inc., which is uh, YG's label, and uh, Royce the Choice is DJ Mustard's first artist under his 10 Summers label. Yep. And he's also a Seattle native, so me and Reese, we've been watching him for a while, and it's great to see this. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. Like, yeah, leading up to the project, you know, we didn't get no singles or anything. The only promo that we had was, you know, just the word of mouth on Twitter showing that, and then Royce was on um, Sway in the Morning and Hot 97. I believe he's the first Seattle artist to like spit on there because I've never seen anybody before that. I yeah, mean, people have been obviously like featured. Jack Lamore. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he's he's been on those shows, but he hasn't. He doesn't freestyle, so right. Royce was the first to do it, and I was like, dude, he's going in on this. Man, it was a it was a good day, man. Like when you know like when that hit, you know, because I had um I didn't even know I was on the plane, and Royce told me he was like, yeah, you know, I just hit Sway. Uh, this morning he was like, I had uh, you know Funk Flex yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh shit, I gotta look for those. So yeah. I looked, and I was just, just proud, man. Yeah, really, I was, I was really proud to see that, man. Um, and like Sway giving him his props after. Yeah, I'm, you know what, what got me was when he said, I don't even deserve the interview right now. Yeah, he was like, I'll come back for the interview, and I, I think that just shows. I mean, obviously humility, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But just growth, because a lot of people feel entitled to it, like. People right. get on it's like, you know, I've been waiting to come up here and do the interview and it's like, for what? And it's, you know what I mean? Like, some of you just don't earn it at mm -hmm. that point. Just like, you know, we do interviews and it's like, yeah. people say, I've been waiting for you to hit me for the joint, you know, or people reach out to you like, yo, let me do an interview. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just that in itself, man, it's just humility. Right. Uh, which is dope, man. That shows, you know, I mean, I'm proud, man, just to, to say. I'm excited for this review. Yes, me too. Um, so, getting right into it, what was your initial thoughts? Um, well... As you mentioned, there were no singles that came out prior. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even have an expectation of what it was supposed to sound like. And I think part of that was because, I mean, I know Royce, but Royce's projects, I mean, he has five projects that have been out, yeah. you know, and they're not all the same. And so just getting different sounds, I didn't want to even have an expectation. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've heard of RJ before on different works, but I didn't have like, enough of him to have like a collective yeah. idea. That's, that's how I felt about RJ. He's, he's been featured a lot on like, yeah. YG's mixtapes mm -hmm. and stuff, but in terms of like a whole body of work. I know he's dropped them, but I, I really haven't had, you know, too much interest. I wasn't as familiar. But now I, I feel like after listening to this tape, I definitely might want to go back and like, you know, check out his, his past catalog mm -hmm. and see if, you know, the stuff that he's doing on Rich Off Mackin is as good as, you know, his uh, old material. Um, so initially when I first turned it on, when I first heard the, uh, the, the line that caught me, man, I'll say that when I first turned it on, I was just amazed just at, um, how Royce came off because he did start it off, uh, you know, in the intro. And the line that got me was, the coldest nigga Jesus died for exists. Mm -hmm. I said, man, okay. All right, bro. Let's play, play the rest of the shit. Because <laughs> now, and it's not like, you know, listen to Royce, you're not used to hearing shit like that, mm -hmm. but it's just, it still doesn't matter. Like, something that quality comes across, yeah. you know, and you're like, okay, I'm still amazed, you know what I mean, at hearing that. And so, uh, just listening to the tape, bro, it was just... Mm -hmm. it, they they fit so seamlessly together. They do, which is which is crazy because not a lot of artists. You can't take two different artists a lot of times and put them together on one project mm -hmm. and and make that sound cohesive. But this yeah. fitting, bro. Like I was, you know, it always <clears throat> made me wonder like why R. J. and Royce are doing you know a project together. I wondered that myself. Um, but yeah, going back to like Royce's lines, like I think throughout the whole project he has some really cold lines. You know, the one about um. Uh, the deal, and then he he threw in the Seinfeld reference. Yeah, you got your got your deal, your and your Seinfeld like Kramer. Mm -hmm. That was called. Um, there was another. He, I think it's like uh, he. I came in smoother than um, uh, the Virgin Mary sex record or something like that. The, I know for a fact, man. That okay. So I'll say this: Royce drops bars. Royce has bars for days. You he know does. what I mean. If you if you listen to the, uh, the the sway joint, if you listen to the um, you know the funk flex joint, uh, for a lot of people that's like Royce's first national spotlighted. You know, uh, the first attention that they've been able to pay him from a national level. Right. Um, but that's something that we're used to hearing, and I think that a lot of times some artists kind of fall by the wayside. You know what I mean? Um, and especially now, and we live in a new age now where you can have five projects and kind of be unheard of. Right. You know what I mean? He has five projects, um, but still, like this is a great showing nationally. 
You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, you stepped your A game up though. Because mm -hmm. this is better than what you've done in the previous five joints. It the is. previous five ventures into this foray, this is the best that we've heard you from mm -hmm. a lyrical standpoint. You know what I mean? And as far as style and delivery, there's a lot to say about his presence because he makes his presence very Jeez. Nice. I mean, okay, so some people can just spit, you know what I'm saying? You hear like a good verse or something like that from somebody and you're like, oh, okay, that's cool, but you didn't really like, you didn't have a presence on it. Mm -hmm. You weren't felt, you know what I mean? Or I mean, it may not be notable to me. I just hear it again. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot this was a good verse. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But like with this, it's like, okay, I'm anticipating the next verse because this was so dynamic here. And, and that's not, to, and I'm talking about Royce, but that's not to discredit RJ at all because RJ's dope. Like his styles are so different on each track. Mm -hmm. Even though the, the, the mixtape was themed centrally, Rich Off Mackin, they're yeah. talking about Bryce and Mackin and, and Pimpin' and Emerson the whole time. But the way that RJ does it, it seems to me like he's got an opportunity to like master where he's at. Mm -hmm. To be able to bring out so many different styles, um, you know, so smoothly and with such confidence and still deliver. Mm -hmm. Like that's to be, I mean, that's great to be said of any artist. Right, and I definitely agree with that. I feel like, you know, listen to the tape, I don't hear the same stuff over and over again. Right. Like when I hear Wish You Better, you know, going, you know, talking about exes and stuff, mm -hmm. and you got a record like, uh, you know, Favor for a Favor, which, yeah. is, which is dope. I want to highlight that real quick because um, I like the, the like the T out of 24, you know, the beat, mm -hmm. T out of 24 beat. Um, I like, there's like that melody in the in the keys. Yeah. I love that. Cause it was just like subtle, mm -hmm. but you're like, you're wondering in the back of your mind, like, wait, have I, have I heard that before? Right, right. I mean, you know. I think that um, for me, somebody mentioned this. They said this on Twitter, I saw, somebody said, um, somebody said, you're making the same song over and over, like in reference, it was like a sub, but they said, you know, it's the same, it's the same track over and over and over. And it's like, okay, bro, again, this is a themed, Mixtape. It's a mixtape for one, so there's not even what you would expect from an album. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I think just coming out of Mustard's camp, you kind of have some expectation of what the sound's gonna be like. Yeah, because um, if Mustard's, you know, producing the the bulk of it, like I believe he did, um, right. you're gonna have like a similar sound. So I mean, the beats, you know, they do sound similar at times, mm -hmm. but the content that's, you know, the way they're displayed, they're used, yeah, isn't like. Uh, and and I look at it in a different light as well because this is like. Big. This is the biggest release from either Royce or RJ, you know, at this point. Right. And I, and I, the way I looked at it, or wanted to look at it, was like, what's being showcased? Mm -hmm. We're we here to showcase talent, or we're we here to like, you know, for some pure artistry. Like, these are my solo projects, and this is what we're gonna do. Because again, it's gonna be hard to take two different artists and put them in, in the lab together and get like something that you can expect, something that you can expect to be artistically beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is not what that was to me. This was Royce just got signed. RJ just got signed. What can we do to show the world what we can do mm -hmm. from an ability standpoint? You know what I mean, and why are we worth the hype? That was that to me. Yeah. Um, and so, that, and I think that's how it came out, and I think it came across perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like nobody underwhelmed. No one overwhelmed the other person. I mean, it was enough of both of them mm -hmm. to be able to balance that. That was a great balance. That was incredible balance, as well as the features make sense too. Yeah, the features, you know, very West Coast heavy. You got Casey Veggies, J Three Hundred Five, I Am Sue, Terrace Martin. Terrace Martin surprised me as a feature. Mm -hmm. um, because, I mean, you would think this may not make sense, but then you listen to it and you're like, this makes absolute sense. It fits. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Who Who was your be your favorite guest feature on now? Um, well, besides, I Am Sue, I think. Mm -hmm. I liked his verse a lot. Um, Terrace Martin, obviously. I think that those two, for me, not to discount anybody else, but yeah. I just think that those are my favorites. Um, I, I mean, it was good seeing Veggies on there. Yeah, I was, he I was, showed out, like, I would uh, put that as my, my favorite oh, really? guest feature, yeah. Okay. Um, favorite you know song out of the whole project the intro the intro the intro because um i feel like it just sets the tone mm -hmm. and i feel like that's very important we talked about sequencing a lot and we talked about you know just putting things in the right order um it had the explosion that something like blood on the leaves would have on the kanye album you know again was saying it's well documented yeah. i could have started the album with blood on the leaves but i didn't mm -hmm. you know and i feel like this was their blood on the leaves not that it was the biggest or best song on there but this is gonna set the tone for everything else. Right. You know I mean? and, it, and it created a consistent sound. Because now, just with that as a lead off and then everything else lining up with it, mm -hmm. it's like, yo, this was definitely the head of the dragon here. You know what I mean? Um, so that's why it's my favorite, personally. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll rock with that. Man, it's hard to pick a favorite because I've listened to the project, man, many times since it dropped. And I can't really, I can't pick just one that I like. I, when I listen to the project, mm -hmm. I have listened to it from start to finish. I'm not skipping tracks yet mm -hmm. so i feel like I'm not either. it may be too premature for me to pick a mm -hmm. favorite but 
Um, something that I noticed, you know, about RJ is that like I'm listening to value and he he gives me this um it's kinda like a T fly five mm -hmm. in a way. Not not and that's not like saying that in a bad way at all. Right. But you know, I hear like similar styles, similar ad libs, you know. Mm -hmm. But they both they're both, you know, separate artists. They right. both are dope, they both, you know, make their music work. But that was just something that you know came to mind when I heard the project. Um if you were gonna rate it, what would you give it? You right give now, it? I it's hard to Unless give Unless it's super mature. No, no, it's not. Um <laughs> It's it's hard for me personally to give like a, a five because a five is the highest. Mm -hmm. And I feel like fives are reserved for later judgment. So I'm gonna give this project a four point five with the potential to one day be a five if I if I continue to play it if it doesn't get you know played out for me. Okay. If I can yeah. come back to this. You gotta stand test of time. It just came out two days ago. Yeah, so. if I can, you know, play this next year and it still sounds as good as it does, then boom. Right. I'm gonna have to agree. Um I'll say four point five. Yeah, I'll get four point five. Four point six maybe. Uh, but it does have to stand the test of time for me to be like a classic because people are too quick to throw that mm -hmm. out there But I do think it's one of the best West Coast projects I've heard I don't want to say West Coast just because it was but it's really West Coast heavy. It is. You know what I mean? Um, you have to say that. But I don't want to like limit it. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. it's a national thing well, obviously. The West Coast sound is not really limited, you know It, 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 no, it right. is the West Coast sound, but mm -hmm. everybody around the world like so I'm seeing people that are like in you know the RJ and Royce project in, in you know, New York and Chicago and, you know, mm -hmm. down south. So it's, right. it's not just, you know, it's a West Coast sound, but it's not limited to that. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's Rich Off Mac and... Last but not least, follow us on Twitter, at Sermons Domain. At Evil Marsupials. Yes, once again, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Come again soon. Peace.